Hi there, I'm Kathy McGivern and I'm Ms. Artastic and in this episode I'm going to be talking about just walking you through my resource, Art Sub and Art Binder, that includes 10 art lessons, 10 art activities, and a binder ready to go that's editable for your classroom. So that way you can prep for a sub like a pro in a stress-free, easy to use way. So we're gonna walk through setting up both the tub and the binder. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you some printed samples of some of the resources you're gonna find in this resource. It's huge. Huge! And then I'm going to show you every single page through one of those scroll throughs on um, uh, screen screen recording of all the PDFs that are included, okay? So this is a combination resource. It is, it's, it's basically an art sub resource. Um, that's created from my experience both having been a sub and a teacher. So I've taken all that and I have placed it into a simple uh, program so that way you can be done prepping for a sub in a one print and go way. Okay, so it's a one and done experience, meaning that you're gonna do this one time and you're done. That is it, forever, okay? The only thing you're gonna need to do is just refill some of the resources when they've been used. But essentially the system's gonna be done so that way you are prepped for a sub always. So that way when you get sick or you're not feeling well and it's kind of annoying to and frustrating to prep for a sub, and plan to be away when you're sick. Okay, so we're gonna do this now so that way you're prepped forever, okay? So that way if you're gone, the only thing you have to do is tell somebody like what resource they need to grab, whether it's the Emily Carr tree uh, lesson or the zombie apple art lesson, or maybe it's one of the art activities in this resource. So there is 10 art lessons and 10 art activities and and art sub binder so that way everything is ready to go and very very simple and clear for your art sub so when they show up it's easy to go through and everything's clear for them it's all done all prepped all your lesson plans all the step-by-step -step guides all the handouts everything is done mm -hmm. okay so here we go this is the art sub tub you're gonna get a binder Set, I'll show you how to do this in a second, and also setting up all the different folders with the pre photocopied stuff in there so that way you are going to be ready for a sub like a pro in a very easy to do, stress free way. You're gonna have this done, maybe it's gonna take you half an hour, but then you're done forever. Mm -hmm. And that's including the photocopying because it's all pre done for you. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's dive on in and check out the art sub tub. <laughs> All right, we're gonna begin by setting up the binder. So it'll come with a um, binder cover and your any of the tabs or uh, page dividers that you're going to need. So I just printed off a selection of the um, sub binder and activities and just one art lesson, but I'll show you everything in a scroll through of all the PDFs. There is an editable um, sub binder version and a non editable, um, same with the labels as well. So we'll get to the labels and um, we're gonna go first through the art sub binder, setting that up. And then I'm gonna talk about setting up an art sub tub and sticking it all together in one place so it's all ready to go, pre photocopied, so you don't ever have to worry when you're sick. Okay, so the first thing that I printed off is the art sub binder. So this is all editable. I did print off every page, so you can either print it off and just hand write it, or you can type on the editable version, which is PowerPoint, so you can just go on into the document and type in all the boxes. I pre-stuck all the te text boxes on there for you, so you don't even have to worry. It's all ready to go for you. You just have to type. So it'll come with this title page. This is pre-written for you, just welcoming somebody to your classroom. Um, and then this is the starting point of edible options. So wherever there's blankness, that's where you get to type on it and you'll see that in the preview. So just introducing you and your classroom, um, a page for your rules and routines to ensure consistency and allow for success. There'll be a classroom map and on the Microsoft version where you can type and adjust. Um, it just shows even on it um, how to like design your own classroom with a map 
uh, using shapes and texts. And there's also a place for a legend. Um, that way somebody knows where to find things in your classroom. Uh, a schedule page for you to write your daily and weekly schedule just so they have an idea in case you're gone for a length um, a longer time or if the sub is expected to plan for the next day they have a general idea bells time bell time supervision and more uh, edible class list and there'll be two pages on the Microsoft version helpful notes just that are anything that pertains to your classroom maybe it's like art club that you have running as well or where to pick up kids any of that, you could put it on helpful notes. I like to highlight students that were showing leadership and expected behavior. So um, star students when I was away, there's two different gallery walls down here and then the sub can write in kids that were being leaders or that were showing expected behavior when you were away. Um, then you can decide what you wanna do with that information. But I just like to know who <laughs> was uh, doing what I asked. Uh, note for the teacher from your art sub, this is you can leave this for your sub so they have, they know that they are maybe expected to leave you a general idea of what happened while you were away. So that's the first part and we're gonna pop that at the front of our binder. So I'm just gonna hole punch it. And it's already ready so you just gotta Stick it in, you don't have to worry about anything on this except for just filling in the information that pertains to you. But the rest of the hard work is done. Okay, so when you open the binder, when your sub gets it, it's gonna look like that. This is all done. And then you got cover page, welcome to my classroom, it all is art themed. And then it'll go through with all the information pertaining to your classroom, okay? So that's that. Um, the other thing is, is that the next part you can stick into there are your activities. You can put, use this also as your master binder with all the master copies of all your art lessons. So the next part going in will be the art activities. So you'll get a title page. And again, here is your first uh, section cover, which is for art activities. It's all black lines, so you don't have to worry about color. So we gotta hole punch it. This is all you gotta do. It's nice, right? Planning for a sub in the future. And this is a one and done system, right? So once this is all set up, you don't have to do anything forever. It's all done for years to come because it's, it's already done. <laughs> you got the system set up. Once you have a system done, the only thing you have to do is maintain it. So maybe in the next year, you just have to print off and pre-photocopy sheets. I like to, pre photocopy sets of worksheets just to have on hand and I'll show you how I do that in my sub tub and then all you have to do is if you're gone just say grab whatever lesson and the sub is ready to go. The lesson plans are all done, there's assessment done, everything is there so you don't even have to plan because I know that when we're sick, it's annoying to have to plan things and you're not feeling well, so this is a worry-free system. Stress-free, worry-free, just plan it now. All you have to do for planning is photocopying it and printing it and putting it in a tub and binder. That's it, and you're done. Okay, so this is the next part. These are just some activities. You'll see all of the activities. There's 10 activities in addition to 10 art lessons in this art sub resource. Okay, so it'll talk about what art activities are. They're basically easy to use art activities or art activities that are perfect to have on hand for fun and engaging art lessons. They all allow for choice art mediums, so you don't have to worry about what art mediums are going to be used when you're away. You can keep it as simple as wax crayons and felt markers. So you don't have paint all over your classroom when you return. I also give lots of pro tips in here for you and your sub, so that way you're all ready to go. So in this one, for our activities, I honestly, I recommend pre-photocopying them and paper clipping them together and keeping them in folders. That's, that way they're just easy to grab for advanced planning in times when you need them. So plan in advance for stress-free years. There's an art choice board, so six different prompts 
and there's a page to draw on. It's just not included. I just didn't print every page off. These are just some of them. You'll see again all the pages in the video preview coming up. So I'll scroll through the whole document so you know exactly what you're going to get so you can make a decision on if this is going to be good for you or not. So there's a directed drawing in there. So these are all easy going because sometimes when we are away or when the classroom teacher's away, kids are a little bit anxious when there's a sub. So I'd like, I like to um, counter that by providing choice based, easy to follow lessons and this whole sub tub resource is designed for that it has some suggestions on the art lessons but they can all be done with flexible mediums or choice mediums not there is no pressure it's very simple but effective and engaging which is necessary when we are away so directed drawing there's a pick a prompt there's three prompts here and then kids will draw down here again they all have little name lines a Zen Doodle artwork, and yes, there will be a Zen Doodle pattern page as well. Um, I just didn't print it off, but essentially they'll be filling in all the sections with Zen Doodle patterns. There is a grid draw in here. There is a pattern mosaic, so in each section they're gonna practice inserting some of these patterns. There is a roll and draw included, and so much more. So there's 10 activities that are included in this sub binder. And then we're gonna have 10 art lessons. Now I only printed off one, so you can see what one looks like printed. This is a lot of paper. <laughs> um, and I like to be mindful of not printing everything, right? Because I am doing this for this video. Okay, so um, I printed off one complete lesson so you can see what it looks like printed. And I printed off all the assessment pages. So we'll do the art subtub and the binder with one art lesson, but know that there are 10 full complete art lessons, full examples done, all the lesson plan done. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Um, and then you can have this, all your master copies in your binder. And then you can also pre photocopy handouts and keep them in folders in your subtub. And again, I'll show you how to set that up. So we're gonna quickly, We'll punch this, stick it in our binder. And if you have this resource already, you could be doing this with me at the same time as we prepare and plan together. And you'll see that this is not gonna take very long to prepare for the entire year for if you're away, or in fact, really just one and done, right? You can just use this again every year. All right, so every single lesson is going to come with an art example done. So it's gonna say art lesson. This one's the Emily Carr Inspired Forest. It has an example of what the art lesson could look like. And then the sub can, sh well, first of all, they'll know what the, they're gonna be creating, but also they can use this as an example to show the kids of the expectations of the project, okay? So the example is already done for you. There is already a lesson plan done that includes the national art core standards. So it has some standards in it. It has an overview. So this one, they're creating an Emily Carr inspired forest using oil pastels or choice art mediums. So I give you a suggestion of what I used in this, but they have alternate mediums as well. So you could use essentially anything. So I give suggestions and if you um, would like to redirect the sub, you can always just highlight the one that you want them to use or just leave it up to the kids to choose wax crayons, whatever, right? So it also has steps for what the teacher needs to do to teach the lesson. Then it has a step-by-step -step guide. This one is for the educator. There's one for the educator and one for the kids and you're gonna see the difference. So I've been a TOC or a teacher teaching on call for many years. So I've been an art sub and I've also been the teacher. I've played both roles for many years. So I've taken my experience and I've applied it to this while creating this resource. So. This is a step-by-step -step guide so the sub knows how to teach this lesson. It gives a visual and instructions for it. And every single one is only in six steps. So it's easy and not overwhelming for the sub to teach. So they can follow it using the suggested mediums or choice art mediums for flexible, means, for flexible needs to create this artwork. Here's page two for the educator. Pro tip, remind students to write their names on their work. I'll always remind the sub to double check um, that names are on work, so that way when you return, you know whose art is what. 
Here's page two. So that is for the sub. So the sub knows exactly how to teach this lesson in six steps. Then there's a student art guide. So this is a handout for the kids and you can see it's calm, it's simple for them. There's no, it's not anxiety inducing because it's just six visual steps for them to follow. So that way if they missed what the sub said, they have a reference in front of them as well. And that's going to allow them to feel confident and be successful while you are away. Okay, so they can put their name on it. And then there's also a page for them to create on. So if you want to just have everything organized, all the student needs to do is put their name on it. It's pre-labeled for what the artwork is. They can create in here or just have them do it in their sketchbooks, on paper. This is here if you would like it. Okay, so it's up to you. So that's it. So every single lesson is going to include that. Now, I also have assessment options for everything as well. So I'm, again, there's their tight, your uh, binder cover page. I'm gonna go and hole punch it. And now we are adding this part to our binder. Okay, so we stick in the assessment. We imagine that we have all 10 of the art lessons in here with the cover. There is a cover for this section as well, but I just don't have it printed because I'm being mindful of paper printing. Okay, so assessment. So this is a choice for you to leave assessment pages. So you can Pick an assessment page, copy them, um, and have still students either fill them out for the art project or you can pre-write them in and photocopy it afterwards, okay? So there's a small rubric, so it's just one page that has two rubrics on it. You can photocopy it and cut it in half and then write the art project in and student's name. There's an artist statement, same idea, and same size as the rubric, so you could even double side photocopy this, you see? It's the exact same size, so you could have your artist statement on the back of the rubric just to keep everything organized. I would like, I like that as well. Um, and also that means that their marking could be on the back of their statement. Um, there's a different version. This one is an art project reflection where the student and teacher will assess um, based on different parts, it's up to you. It's just giving you different options to leave. There's a peer feedback, so if you are looking to meet the peer feedback criteria um, in the course standards, then this is an option. They can do show three peers their artwork, and again, the peer can give uh, two stars and a wish, so two things they did good, one thing they wish that the person would do maybe in the future on a project. Here's a little bit more of an older kids reflection page. So in your own words, describe your artwork, um, explain or reflecting on elements of art or principles of design that were used in the artwork and identify which ones. And then explain things that you did really well and one thing you wanna work on next time. And then there's also a, a journal page for creating artwork. So writing a journal about the process of creating your artwork, speak about successes and challenges you faced, emotions you experienced and why. So there's that option as well. So this would be your sub binder, all ready to go. Um, you can see how long it took me to make that. And mostly I was talking to you, so not very long, right? So you just have to print it. The hardest thing that you're gonna have to face would be inserting just your own information into the other pages. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you can pick and choose which of these pages you want, but I highly suggest that these are all um, nice things to have. Because um, as a sub, it's nice to know these things. Um, I like to always, especially pre-photocopy, like a bunch of these notes for the teacher. And I like to put them even in those little folders at the front of the binder so that the, the person gets a hint that I want them to fill it out when I, I'm away. Because sometimes I've come back and I've only had like a post-it note left for me saying that the day was great, but then the stories I hear are opposite. <laughs> so that's the first one. Okay, so sub binder, done. Didn't take long to do it all. Next. Um, I've printed off the labels. So in one of the documents, you're gonna get an editable and non-editable version of just two pages. One is this cover. It's not edible um, because of the clipper on there. I can't legally share it. Um, the other thing is that you can type in on each of these blank strips um, a lesson. So for instance, if it's the Emily Carr 
one, you can type in Emily Carr Art Lesson or Art Activities, or if you want to use it for any of your own art lessons that you want to add to your this art sub tub in addition to these ones, then you can use it for that. And they're all art themes and very basic. Like you could use these for other things in your classroom if you wanted to. Okay, so just gonna trim it up. Uh, I have an art sub tub label, so this is gonna go on the front of my tub and the other things are just uh, multi-purpose labels. So we're gonna quickly trim this. I know some of you are probably like, ah, she didn't trim it perfectly. No, I'm not that kind of person to be honest. <laughs> I know, I was started off in high school, so that's my excuse for non-perfect things. I'm only gonna cut off a couple of these because for this video, we're only gonna just see how we assemble it. All right, so we're gonna imagine that I got everything done. So I'm going to choose to just write on here, but you might choose to type it, and that's up to you. One's gonna say activities, and I'm gonna do Emily Carr Forest Art Lesson. So art lesson, Emily Carr Forest. Perfect, done, easy. All right, so we're gonna now take a couple folders that are just the smaller folders, so eight and a half by 11 sized ones. Um, I'm gonna set this to the side for now, and I'm going to pre-label my folders. Okay on and stick it up at the top and now it's ready to go so cute or maybe I was supposed to go that way I feel like I did this <laughs> backwards <laughs> there we go oh so good <laughs> uh, I don't think it really would matter okay activities Stick that on, all right, it's labeled, it's art themed, so easy. But the best thing is, is that it's nice and simple and clear for if you get an art sub. Okay, so things that we're gonna put it in. I'm gonna take all my pre-photocopied stuff for Emily Carr Forest, and I'm gonna put it in there. So I'm gonna take some of these things out of this binder, and I'm gonna now pretend <laughs> that I've pre-photocopied these in sets for my classes. So maybe if you have, want, you can do like a set of 30, whatever. Okay, we're just gonna pretend. Pretend is always good, isn't it? Okay, so now I imagine that I photocopied, maybe I'm just gonna paper clip the teacher stuff together. as one, and then I'm going to pre-photocopy just the two student pages, right? These are it, that's it. You can photocopy it double-sided, so it's back to back. And imagine that maybe you have classes of 30, right? Just for example, um, and then you have eight classes maybe in a day. So maybe you make 30 sets, sorry, 30 copies and eight sets, and these would go paper clipped into here all ready to go, fits nice, and then you just put this at the very front in one second paper clip for your sub. And then that's ready to go into your art sub tub, and that's it. Then you're gonna take your pre-photocopied activities, you take them out of your master copy. And then all your pre-photocopied activities are ready to go, so maybe make 30 copies of your grid draw, 30 copies mosaic, whatever you need to do, whatever makes sense for your world. Pre-photocopy some activities because these are super easy, grab to go 
with zero um, directions for mediums or other things, right? It's just one page, stick them all in there, ready to go. Okay, so once you're done getting it ready for all your different art lessons, art activities, whatever, you could even, if you want, break this up into just, just, you know, roll and draws and make a label for just roll and draws or just pattern mosaic or just whatever. Okay, so it's really up to you on how you wanna do that. And now we're gonna get our sub tub ready. So let's now jump on in to doing the sub tub. All right, so I'm gonna grab my tub. Uh, I like to use dollar store uh, wash bins. These are perfect because they fit your binder and your <laughs> um, folders absolutely perfectly. So I've made a sub tub label already for you. So you don't even have to make that. So I just had to stick some tape on the back, whatever. I like duct tape, so you can pre-laminate it if you want. Um, if you don't want to laminate, that's up to you. Stick some tape on the back. Line it up. And your label. Okay, so you're that's it, you're done. It's already cute, it matches everything else, it's all the same graphics and the same text, so you, the person's gonna know that this all goes together. Okay, things I like to do. I like to stick my uh, folders in here, that way when the person goes through it, they can see everything nice and organized. So that's important to me. I also like to put in the binder, so you can stick the binder in just like that, and boom, you are ready to go. So what's the person gonna get? When they get into your classroom, they're gonna see, okay, there's the sub tub you can reference in an email or leave a note to say, okay, go to the sub tub, all your information's there. You're gonna do grid draw activities. So the person's gonna be like, oh, there's a sub tub. Find your activities. Um, if they want to know about your classroom, they're gonna grab the binder, open it up, see it's all ready to go and organized. You're gonna be welcomed to your classroom. You're gonna learn about you and your classroom, your routines and rules find everything easily, it's all ready to go. They're not gonna miss any supervision times because they'll know your bell times and supervision and any additional information like art club. They'll be able to have a class list uh, inserted in here and then they can use it for whatever they want, whether they wanna use it for keeping track of marks while you're gone, if you're gone for a lengthy time or if they just wanna use it for checking attendance or whatever, it's there, helpful notes. Again, your star student. And then if you're gone for a while or they need to make more copies, all your masters will be in here. Okay, so that's all organized. So let's dive on in and check out the digital uh, PDF scroll through of all the different parts of this resource.
art sub tub resources and how you can assemble it and use it in your classroom. Make sure you put this somewhere clear. Um, I always like to put it on the shelves that I had beside my desk and then in my emails or in my sub notes when I had to log in and book a sub, I just say check out the art sub tub um, behind my chair or on the shelf beside my desk. It's very clear and easy for someone to find. They'll have the binder in there. Remember, it's gonna welcome you, them, that person to your classroom, explain all your routines, rules, where to find everything in the classroom. Just put the essentials in there, right? It, the, more, the simpler you make it and more clear you make it for a sub, the better success that they are going to feel and have in your classroom, right? Remember, they have to show up and sometimes they get notified kind of late, so they're just showing up and having to teach. And so the more clear that we can make it for them, the easier, the time they'll have. And then if you say, okay, in the sub tub, grab your activities folder, all they have to do is grab this and in there you're gonna have your pre-photocopied art activities or art lesson, whatever it is, all the student pages pre-ready to go and photocopied. That means that you can, if you are sick or if you are absent for the day, whether it's expected or unexpected, you're stress-free, you're already done, you don't have to worry about finding easy, flexible art lessons to do because all of these, again, they're choice-based art lessons or there are suggested uh, mediums to use, but you don't have to worry. If you just want to leave it choice-based, that's cool. Let it be flexible. It's all good. When you have time that you need to be away, just relax. And teaching is kind of hard with that, right? Because we're expected to <laughs> plan for every little moment for when we're gone, when we need to be gone. It's not easy to be away as a teacher but I'm gonna try and make that a little bit easier for you. So spend a little bit of time, grab this resource, put this together, and then you don't have to worry. And every single year, this will be done. You'll walk in, every back to school, this is done. The only thing you have to do is grab those masters out of your binder, photocopy a few, refill the folders. That's it, my friend. So have an amazing year, and find the link to this resource in the description below, or find it in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Miss Artastic.